Hey guys, we're gonna learn some beam today. We're gonna do some um, leap and jump complex stuff and I'm gonna give you guys a beam assignment. So luckily I am neighbors with some girls that can do gymnastics. So you won't be watching me today. All right, so to help me show, I've got Katie and I've got Ashley. So um, for kicks, make sure you guys are finding something that's like chest to shoulder height. Um, I want you guys to start by like just being in releve and squeeze your knees super tight. Good, squeeze your ankles together and squeeze your thighs together and then tuck your hips under. So you wanna make sure when you guys are kicking, you guys are keeping your hips nice and flat. And go ahead and do five um, on one leg. Good. And the goal here is to kick as fast as you can open, but to also close as fast as you guys can. Okay, so let's try that again on your other leg. Kick open fast. Good. Good. Okay, when you guys are ready, turn side. Um, we're going to face the wall. Yep. So same thing, high releve. Tuck your hips under. Good. Squeeze your knees super hard. Okay, this one you wanna make sure that you keep your hips rolled under. Keep your shoulders down, so shoulders down a little bit more, long necks. Good, and these you wanna try and kick open as hard as you can and make sure you guys close nice and quick. Go ahead. Good, roll that hip under a little bit more, Ashley. There you go, and then five on the other leg. Good, Ashley, do a couple more on that leg and try and open your leg as fast as you can. There we go, that was much better close. Good, if you guys can see on our first one, she opened way faster. The second one was a little bit slower. So try and getting all of them to be super quick like that. Um, for back kicks, we're gonna do back kick, needle kick. This one, you wanna make sure that your hip is staying under. Um, and your chest, you don't wanna be dropping your chest, especially now because you've got a big cement wall in front of you, Katie. <laughs> go ahead, guys. One, one, good. Two, two. Good, try and keep that leg a little bit tighter, Ash. Good, when you guys have five, go ahead and switch to the other side. Good, trying to make that second one as big as you possibly can make it. Good. All right, we're gonna do um, a leg strengthening exercise. This helps to build stability. So we're gonna start with our legs squeezing together, our knees super tight, hands on hips. We're gonna tuck our hips under, shoulders down, chins up, good. We're gonna put our arms out to the side and our arms are not gonna drop until we are done with this entire exercise. We're gonna to raise to high releve. Try and push those heels up as high as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and drop. Other leg and releve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and drop in passe. Good, arms up a little bit higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do toe raises very high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna extend as high as our hip bone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna move to the side and keep our hip under. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and small pulses. One, two, three, four, five, flat hips, six, seven, eight, and roll to the back. Try not to drop our leg as we roll it to the back. Keep it as high as your booty, a little bit higher. Squeeze that knee, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, arms out still, close. Keep your arms pressing, other leg in passe. One, two, more press, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and high releve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and small pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the side. One, two, roll those hips under. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try not to drop your leg. A little bit higher in the back, guys. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, chest up, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your arms up and close, high releve. One, two, three, four, push those heels forward, five, six, seven, eight, and down switch. One, two, high releve, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and drop and pop your feet into four starch. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch feet. Pop that front foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and arms down. <laughs> are doing a leap complex now we would typically have some therabands around to help us with our arm placement but we don't so we're using a sweatshirt hopefully you guys have those around the house and you guys can use those too um, make sure you guys keep your arms in high V chin should be up shoulders should be down hips should be under and pressing um, Katie is gonna be doing this with her good leg in front because she's drilling for a switch leap and Ash will be doing this with her bad leg in front because she is drilling for a split leap. So Katie, go ahead and show us just some kicks up to releve. Yep. Good. Do a couple of them. Good. And you should be doing like three to five of these. And then Katie's going to go ahead and actually switch legs because if you are an eight, yep, go ahead and do it with the other leg. I actually want you drilling both sides because your switch halves will be using your good leg. So, Ashley, go ahead and show us without the sweatshirt. So press, she has her bad leg in front. Yep, arms back, pressing, good. And just kick, quick kick, good. And try and do it again and raise the releve when you kick. Ready, pushing down on the floor as hard as you can, good. Okay, we're gonna go next to um, Katie. Go ahead and add a hop to yours. So press, arms back, good, and hop. Good, and Ashley, let's see yours. Yep, so press, hip under, good. And if you can see, she's a little bit pikey in her hips, so Ash, let's try that again. Roll your hip before you go, mm -hmm. press, keep your chest back, and try and keep your chest right there as you do the kick the whole time, don't let it move. That was you correct. guys have done your kicks and your hops. We're gonna go ahead and apply the same thing to your leaps. So tuck your hips under, make sure you're pressing. Good, and I want you pushing down on the ground. So Ashley, your front foot's a little bit turned in. Keep that straight or even a little bit turned out. There you go, and go ahead and push down and leap. Uh-huh, and her goal is to land and actually be able to hold. So let's try that again. So fix the front foot. Let's turn that out a little bit. Good, pressing. Good, push down and go. Good, yep. And see, she has a tendency to wanna to turn her foot in when she lands too. So let's try one more. Yep, turn it out there, good. And as you kick your front leg, try and keep it with a slight turn out as you're kicking it, ready? So press, chin up and go. Turn it out, land out. Much better. So Katie is gonna do another drill for her switch leap. She should have her bad leg in front right now. Knee nice and tight, shoulders down, chest up. 
She's gonna go ahead and lift and then she's gonna drive her heel backwards. Good, try that again. Lift, drive your heel backwards. Good, and then kind of connect it, like lift and drive. Yep, there we go. Okay, now go on your knee. She's gonna apply this to her switch sleep now. You don't need the switch sleep. Right okay, I want you to push down hard, tuck your hips right now. Yep, and when after you kick, I want you to drive that heel backwards. Go ahead. There we go, good, and try again. And I want them landing together. Good. All right, we are now gonna do our leaps up on, or up off of something. So Ashley, go ahead and kneel down. Good. And let's see a split leap, kick, slight turnout, and land and hold. Good, keep your chest up a little bit more. And Katie's gonna do that with a switch leap. Good, all right. All right, now we're gonna do some prancing. Um, I almost prefer this to be done down in the basement so you don't have to wear shoes, so you can actually push through your toes and point your toes. Oh no, you can keep them on out here. If you're outside, it might be easier just because the ground's unstable to be wearing shoes. So I guess we'll do one with, one without. Go ahead and prance. You're trying to push through your toes with every single step. Good, turn around and do that again, guys. And this time I want you guys kind of like launching yourself forward, pushing so hard, it's almost like little leaps. There you go. After a few rows of prancing, we're gonna go ahead and add leaps. We um, have this cool little thing at the park near our house. So we are gonna be leaping over the little crevices. So go ahead, Katie. Good, go ahead, Ash. We're gonna do five split jumps in a row with our good leg. Our goal is to open as quick as we can, but to also close as quick as we can. Go ahead. So open quick, close quick. Good, try not to travel. Good, and then Katie's gonna do this with her bad leg. Go ahead, open quick, close quick. And the goal is to not be able to tell the difference. Good. And then for you um, guys who are trying to be level sevens, or if you're a seven and an eight, Katie, go ahead and show us a set of split jumps that are 180. Your goal is to hit 180. Good leg. Good leg, yeah. Good. And then Katie's gonna also show us a set of five switch leaps. Go ahead. So also trying to close quick. Good. You guys will find that these are a lot harder on your home trampolines than, than they are on the uh, tumble track at the gym. Don't you think, Katie? Yes. Yeah, so they'll be good for you, but trying to get your feet all the way back together between each switch sleep.